All right, guys, here you go. I'm going to fill you in what happened. I'm not going to tell you the names of the people because I don't want to tarnish their reputation or discredit them on, on their merits. Um, but what happened was my company called the place that I got set up to fix and work on my truck. But let me bring you back before that. Does You'll see another vehicle, a towing, or I guess a repair shop company in the beginning of the video. I didn't get all the information or videotape them because um, I hadn't really planned on doing a video, but I just happened to say, okay, let me do this, let me do this. And when they got to the end where they was actually working on the truck, um, they said they couldn't work on the truck because they did not do the complete detail of what I need to be done. But anyway, so I had to call another trucking company, which is Watson, um, to get them out here. And this is where the story begins. Now, they was taking a long time to, to get back with me to, get, to work on the truck on Friday. Friday came by, um, well, Saturday. I take that back. It was Saturday. Um, Friday Friday night, they told me that they was going to work on the truck on Saturday. And because I was like, it's, it's coming late right now. I, I'm not going to stay out here this long. I'm going, because I'm near my house, I'm not going to stay here this long for them to work on my truck. Because it was r extremely late. And he didn't want to work on it then anyway. So I said, um, he's going to take the starter out and then just leave. I said, why don't you just do the rest of it in the morning? That way you don't have to worry about it now. Is it easier for for you to do that? And he said it didn't really matter. So, either way, he he agreed to do it the next morning. Next morning came by, he didn't show up. He didn't show up. He didn't call. He didn't do nothing. So I called the company. They said he was going to be there. Blah blah blah. They gave me a number to to contact, at, which I thought it was this driver that's here now, which it wasn't. Um, to contact him and and go from there. So. I did that, and when I did, they communicated back to me and say they was going to come out and blah, 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 blah. My company got mad because it was taking so long on Saturday, and so they kept calling and calling and calling and calling them. Apparently, the company cussed, cussed my company out, and then it led to an altercation. Uh, which the company then was not, you know, doing what they're supposed to be doing. So today, which is Sunday, I called again and I texted the number. No call, no nothing. Um, hours, hours, hours later, someone said that they was going to come out and they never showed up. But it showed up at three, didn't show up. Five o'clock came around, still no show up. Five thirty, somebody shows up. Um, text me that this is Aaron, blah blah blah. I'm gonna come out and work on your truck. I said, Oh, okay. Which I thought he was the guy that's probably been working on my truck in the beginning. And that I was talking to, which it wasn't. So anyway, he's here now. Working on the truck and getting it up getting it up and running. Boy, miscommunications, lack of communication, disrespect. I live literally right up the road from this company. They could have a lot of business with me, but now I don't think I'm gonna give them that much business. I like Aaron, he's pretty good, so I might, I might just keep that business relationship going because of him but it's going to be kind of iffy. So it's going to be on a... We're going to have to see. We're going to have to see. But um, if you guys have worked with this company before, let me know. Let me know in the comments if you like them. Should I keep keep them in my phone book or what? But um, the only person I like about the company is Aaron. So he's, he seems like a real nice guy. So other than that, I don't know what to say about this company. I'm just gonna be real with you. I'm not. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. Aaron's the only guy that seemed capable to communicate with. So, but guys, this 
but I want you to let you know right now. Um, I'll give you a heads up later on. Let you know how it turned out. If if you notice, my eyes are squinching because I'm tired. <laughs> it looks like something else, but I'm really tired. Uh, I'll keep you posted, guys.